Well, folks, in today's video, I'm going to actually show you just a Walmart. I just Googled Walmart, and then I just typed in the ingredients as to what I'm making for dinner. It ain't nothing fancy, but someone asked me if I could do it, so I'm going to do it. I should, I guess, try to do it as a... Well, I got kind of like price breakdown. I'll put the price on the screen. But what I'm saying is uh, I think what they were getting at is like a budget-friendly thing, and... Um, what I kind of bought is not the cheapest thing you can buy. And I say, you can make your own spaghetti. I'm making spaghetti. That's what I'm making. You can make your own spaghetti sauce and everything. But I thought, what better of a way to do this than to just kind of pick what someone might pick up in a rush for a last minute dinner. So just a box of spaghetti. Well, I'm kind of not a big fan of spaghetti. I do like it. Don't get me wrong. I'm talking noodles here, pasta. So I do like spaghetti, but I went with panini pasta. So. We just got a box of panini, um, spaghetti sauce, doggone meat. We're going to get some doggone store brand rolls, garlic knots, that is, and some mixed veggies. And it's like I said, it would just be as if it's a quick dinner or something. You're just trying to throw together real fast, just swinging through the store on the way home. Something quick. I can try this again if someone wants to see it. I can get like the cheapest dinner I guess you can make, Dollar Tree. You know what I'm saying? They sell stuff, I guess, steaks or something. Woo, watch out now. I don't know how that stuff is. Come in, come on. You're watching the Uncle Mike YouTube channel. Stick around. Now, I will be adding some things here out of the spice cabinet that typically most people have in the household, so I'm kind of not going to put that in the price breakdown. But since this is literally, what you call it, um pre-made, pre-packaged pasta sauce. I guess you really wouldn't need to use anything, but I just add a little different stuff to it. So, like I said, this won't be 100% what it costs to make it. I say it's just, there's the stuff I got on hand, you know? So let's jump into this. And here we have great value garlic knots, six pieces for $2. And I'm searching here for some ground beef. Pull that up. Let me scroll on through. And like I said, you can use cheaper options, but I like 90-10. And there's 90-10 right there, but it's two and a half pounds. And I have a one pound brick froze up here. So there she is, 574. Ground beef, 90-10. And if you keep looking here, I'm about to search up some spaghetti sauce. And like I said, it's just a, it's not the store brand spaghetti sauce. It's just a, a low price one, I guess. It's cheaper than some, but not the cheapest you could buy. But it's the Classico brand, I guess. And it's the four cheese for $1.98 for a 24 ounce jar. And now, We'll go ahead and we'll search again because we need we need to get the rest of this meals here or the rest of the items for this meal, which will be the penne pasta. So we'll go ahead and type that in. And here I am. It took me a minute. I was drawing a blank while I was searching this stuff. But it's the Barilla brand penne pasta, one pound. And here you have it for $1.48. Panini pasta, Brilla brand. And then we'll close it out with some frozen vegetables. The kind that come in a little bag that you can just toss in a microwave for like five minutes. So we'll scroll through here, frozen vegetables. And there it is, the mixed vegetables. 84 cents for these. And like I said with this ground beef, I'm gonna add a couple things that I just have on hand, like soy sauce, just a little bit of pepper, and we'll add some more shower sauce. Not a lot, just a little, that's all you need. Now you can hear that ground beef getting after it, but we got pasta in the water, boiling down. Well, it's coming up to a boil. It'll be there any minute, take your time. Pasta's boiling, meat's done, 
Grease has been removed, and now it's time to... Come on, here's some hand action. Woo! I like to see you all do that. We'll go ahead and get this pasta sauce added. Now, I really don't know why I didn't just record that, but we'll go ahead and we'll get some water. Oh, that's enough. Look at Lillard. Y'all got that towel strung about. Clowns. Some water in there. Eh, a little bit left. Oh well. Mix this on in. Shoo! That's some spaghetti right there. Pasta over here getting after it. I usually like to use my pasta water in that, uh, if you're using one of these. Now, I usually use my pasta water to thin out sauce if needed, but I just rinse that one in the sink. So, pasta is it's almost done. Noodles are just about done. Spaghetti sauce, meat sauce, I guess, is done. Get these garlic knots underway here. Heating instructions. 425. Come on. Run it up. Spaghetti bubbling. Pasta boiling. 425. Start her on. Come on. So drained and rinsed the pasta. Actually, I didn't rinse it. I lied to you. I just drained it. Boy, that's hot. Get in there. All right, all that's in there. We'll go ahead and mix this on up. Shut this water up, I guess. I don't know why I left that on. I'm just rinsing out that pasta water. Fold these noodles in here. I know some people like to serve it uh, meat sauce over their pasta, but I'll tell you right now, it doesn't matter to me. And because when I put this up in a Tupperware, it's gonna be mixed up just like this. So this will be fine for me. Oven's almost preheated. And we can slap these bad dogs in. The old great value. Put five minutes on the clock. Come on. Boy, I make a mess and I'm here cooking. Doggone ground beef reeds. Piping hot straight out of the old microwave. Woo! Dang, that thing's hot, son. Come on. Burning myself out here. Go ahead and Put the contents of the bag inside the bowl. Now we'll take to those mixed vegetables, some counterfeit butter. Oh, I'm trying to get a scoop here. There we go. Uh, about a tablespoon. Mix that in there. Swap the old hand rooney here. Pause. Into the oven you go. Five minutes. It is 48. So we will pull those out in five minutes. Mix that in there. Once again, follow it up with some black pepper. And it wouldn't be complete now, would it? With a little bit of this for some extra color.
get everything in here nice and combined, hanging out together. Oh, on a side note, you could have substituted the garlic knots for some uh, knockoff butter on some bread. Also a fan favorite here in the house. And yes, I do have butter. I honestly completely forgot it was there. <laughs> Typical. There you have it, 48 to 53. Come on now. Got some garlic knots, baby, come on. Now this meal, spaghetti, mixed vegetables, and a garlic roll, it will easily feed four people, or in our case, two people, for three days. So, put a little bit of that on there. Oh, tap tea. Good stuff. And we'll dig in. If you guys want to see something different, or you can think of anything, let me know. I think I'm going to make some jerky here this weekend, which y'all won't see it for a while. But if you like it, stick around and find out.